Hello and welcome back. This is lesson 6 of the general English course for elementary level students. My name is Sardar and I will resume my class from exercise 6 for today. Last time I gave you an overview of exercise 6, what we are going to cover like in the next video, which is this one. So uh, exercise 6 is a snapshot in which it's almost like an intro into a new cycle of the same units. Now, um, before I give you instructions, uh, for this snapshot we have school subjects. That means the subjects we study at school, okay? Uh, we have some pictures, and now I'm asking you, please, if you have the book, close it, and if you have the PDF, minimize the screen, okay, the, the window. Because I'm going to ask you uh, to tell me what school subjects you are currently studying at school or you have studied, like you already have had uh, like subjects at school. You might be like a university student at the moment. So you may tell me that I had geography uh, or I am having geography um, or you can simply say I study geography, history, maybe not English because we are studying English at the moment. Um, you may say science, you may tell me different uh, things, other things like uh, chemistry, maybe physics, maybe biology, uh, maybe sports, religious studies, Arabic, Kurdish, and all these uh, school subjects. So you can brainstorm, okay, on your own before doing this. You can pause the video and then uh, brainstorm and later on follow the, the, the video. Now we just brains like we we did we did a kind of brainstorming. Now we're going to look at the pictures. Let's see what pictures do we have. And I want you to take a look at the pictures for uh, a few seconds and tell me based on the pictures what are these subjects. We have an example. We already have an example here, um, which is math. Okay. And now you have to tell me what, what is number two, what is number three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I give you only 30 seconds to think about these pictures, okay? And later on, tell me what are these subjects. Start now, please. Think about the pictures. Okay, since you already had uh, 30 seconds, now it's your turn to tell me. Suppose you already have the name of the, like, the subjects. So I'm going to tell you one by one, check if you were correct or not. Check if you were correct or not. Now, number two, based on the picture, we can say since they are looking at like this like mic microscope um, they might look at things it seems it's biology okay number three we can say this is related to history because uh, we have this kind of uniform here and these guys are looking at it okay number four based on what we have here with the map this can easily tell us that this is geography 
The subject is geography. Uh, number five from uh, like the picture we can say this is sports or we can simply say this is f physical education. Any sort of uh, like physical uh, thing that you do this can, this can be called physical education. We generally call this sort of education physical because you uh, learn things that you do uh, physically. Number six is, uh, since it's, we can, uh, like, we can say this is this and this and that, since the picture only shows of, like, a, uh, a book and maybe a lady, but from the book and from its papers, we can say this is literature. Uh, so, this is my guess. You may have other guesses. And number seven, we can say, since we have all these tubes and other things, uh, we can say this is chemistry. And the last one, based on what we can see in the picture, we can say this is physics. Okay? So now we have all these school subjects. As you can see, we have them all here. Okay? Math, history, uh, but they are not like uh, there are like there are no numbers here to tell you that this one is this one and this was this one is this one. But we have the names. So uh, as we did math, uh, history, and uh, we have literature for this one, physics for this one, geography for this one, and biology for this one. Physical education for number five. Now. Um, uh, I'm sure that you have already uh, written all the school subjects I just uh, said. So uh, please write them if you have not already. Um, now, I am asking you one simple question. What is, at the moment, if you are currently uh, studying at high school or maybe a primary school, what is your favorite school subject? What is your uh, favorite school subject? There, uh, here we, we have a very simple question which asks you which subject do you love the most? Or do you like the most? And what subjects, subjects uh, don't you like? or didn't you like if you have already passed high school um, since i have already passed high school and i'm a university uh, teacher at the moment i i can say my favorite school subject was english okay i would say i really didn't like math Okay, I didn't like math. But if you are currently studying at school, you simply say, I don't like math, biology, physics, and etc. Okay, and you can say, my favorite school subject is, you have to say one if, because you have to have one only, uh, is maybe English, maybe Arabic, maybe phys physical education, or anything that you like the most. Okay, this was all about school subjects, okay? This was just to recall mm, things about from our past or maybe something that's that you are doing currently and which is uh, most of us do. Uh, we, uh, we have uh, actually uh, nice memories from high school or maybe at the moment that you are studying uh, at high school you have uh, uh, nice friends and uh, wonderful teachers I hope that you are enjoying your uh, high school uh, like years or maybe primary school years and get the best uh, out of these years uh, so please do not waste your time try to use time wisely anyway um, now uh, we jump to exercise 7. Let's see how this helps us, how 
uh, school subjects helps us to um, for the uh, for the rest of the exercise that we will have later. Okay, good. Now, I'm sure that you have uh, already uh, mastered the these names, so that when we get into this, we know we we can pronounce them. Okay. Now, um, as you can see, we have now who just like before. Um, we have again Sujin and Arturo. Okay, Sujin and Arturo. Since uh, they already, uh, like, uh, already, uh, Alexa already introduced Sujin to Arturo, it seems they are getting to know each other more and more. Uh, we're, we, we, we're going to take a look, but I don't want you to take a look. I want you to close the book now and I also close the book I want you to uh, answer the following questions uh, I'm sorry here we here we go okay I have already prepared all these questions and I will play the audio okay while you are listening try to uh, prepare the answers for these questions by the way these are just yes no questions you don't need to find anything you just simply listen and see if these questions are yes or no okay now we have the the audio let me just okay and here is the conversation okay listen please and answer the questions page five exercise seven conversation how's it going Listen and practice. Hi, Sujin. Hey, Arturo. How's it going? Great. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love biology. Biology? Are you and Alexa in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Oh, okay. Hey, do you have time for coffee? Sure. I'd love some coffee. Okay, and now let's find the answers. Are Arturo's classes interesting this semester? Well, check if your guess is true or not. Yes, he said... I like them, like I, I, I enjoy them. And are Arturo and Alexa in the same biology class? No. Is Arturo's class in the afternoon? He said no. Does Sujin invite Arturo to get a coffee? Yes. Uh, she said, do you have time for a coffee? So that was the conversation, okay? I hope you can, uh, like, go back, listen again if you did not get the, uh, like, the like if you did not get the conversation, if you did not understand the whole conversation, and replay again so that you know what was the conversation about. Now let me continue with the conversation, okay? I go back to the book, and here we go. Okay, I will read and please listen. I will try to explain uh, words that might might not be familiar f like to you. Hi, Sujin. Hey, Arturo. How is it going? Great. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. So, are your classes interesting this semester? By the way, this is not um, semester. It's semester, okay? Yes, they are. I really love biology. Biology? Are you and Alexa in the same class? No, we are not. Or we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. So we have the, like a question for this. So they they are not in like in the same class. It seems. Uh, Arturo's class is in the morning and her, hers is in the afternoon. 
Oh, okay. Hey, do you have time for coffee? This is Sujin. Sure, I'd love some coffee. Okay? I would love some coffee. Good. Now, uh, we're going to practice for a minute so that uh, we can master the... Let me just... Okay. Good. Now, I have an activity for that. Since you have the book, we just listened, and now I want you um, to pay attention to this. I have already uh, covered a number of words in the conversation. Now we're going to do the conversation together. I'll be Arturo and you'll be Sujin. And then we, we take turns, okay? So, I give you some time, like a few seconds, so that you can read along with me, okay? Hi, Sujin. Great, how are you? Yes, they are. I really love biology. No, we are not. My class is in the morning and her class is in the afternoon. Sure, I would love some coffee. Okay? So that's how you uh, practice uh, while you study, like you are studying English. Now, you will be Arturo and I will be Sujin. Okay? Um, you start now. Hi Arturo, how is it going? I'm fine, thanks. So are your classes interesting this semester? Biology? Are you and Alexa in the same class? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, do you have some, like, do you have time for coffee? Good. Let's go. Just like that. Let's go. Great, um, this is how you practice and I hope you can practice more and more uh, to master the conversation. By the way, this is uh, a simple daily conversation you can have with your friends or a new friend that you have just uh, met. Now, I go back to the conversation and uh, I'm going to uh, st like uh, go through Grammar focus exercise eight. Okay, this is very simple. We already covered what? Let me just show you in a like in a few seconds. We already covered what uh, the statement of verb be, which start like which. Uh, this is a very simple uh, and basic structure of English sentence. Um, Arturo is a student, which means we have a subject, the verb, and a complement, okay? Remember that this is a statement. A statement, there's no, uh, like, question mark, there's no, uh, maybe, exclamation mark. Uh, this is a statement. You just simply make and say that Arturo is a student. But what if we ask questions? Here we have the yes, no questions and short answers with B. So, Remember that we can use verb be to make uh, yes, no questions and then answer like uh, with this so sort of short uh, form. Just simply yes, I am. N yes, he is. And all these uh, ways that are here. Okay. Or no, I'm not. No, he's not. Okay. Now, very simple. I just would like just to tell you that. If you want to ask a yes, no question, this is what you do, I'm sorry. This is what you do. You simply change the place of the uh, verb to row, 
Uh, I'm sorry. Our, oh, well, yeah, here we go. To row. And then I am going to say what is. And I will just say V and S. And the same thing here. I'm just going to copy or cut. Put it here and a space there. So this is going to be the verb. And this is going to be the subject. And we can have that in the middle. So here is the question. And of course, you have to add question and question here. And when you reply, you don't need to uh, like worry. Simply need yes and no. OK, yes and no. And then the verb be OK with the subject. Very simple. For example, if this uh, the answer for this question is yes, you just simply say yes, and then you use the verb be, which is very simple. The subject, he, and then is full stop. Okay. That means the question, you'll start with a verb, but when you reply, you just simply add s and then the same form happens but you since it's a short answer you don't you don't need the full form you don't need to say yes he is a student although it's fine to say yes he is a student but you don't need because this is the short answer but what if i say no you just simply say no ah let me just make that big okay no he is, oh, you can simply say he isn't, okay, okay, like this, or you can, you can make something like this, he is not, okay, and I'll show you how I did that. So this is one example, and I will show you more examples. So remember that, you can just simply say, is Ahmad in your class is uh, Elena uh, your sister like is she your sister simple or are you can use are because since we have two people you simply say are Julia and Elena sisters now let's go back to the book okay now we have all these examples as you can see are you free is Arturo from Mexico? And you continue this way. There's one um, like uh, thing that I would like to tell you, which is this. Remember that you cannot use contractions uh, like in the yes answer. When you answer with yes, you don't. You are. You are not like you cannot use contractions. You cannot say yes, I'm. Yes, I'm. Yes, I am. Yes, he is. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, we are. Yes, they are. Okay. But for the negative, like for the no, it's fine. You just simply say, no, I'm not. No, he isn't. Or he's not. Okay. No, it's not. No, it's, it isn't. And you continue this way. We are not. They are not. This way. And now to understand more we're going to just do part a and i will leave you like leave part b but i will explain what what is part b simply we need uh there be here to make questions look uh look at the answer since we have uh he here okay you can simply tell that this is is Remember that this is uh, Mr. Jones, that this means that this is one pe like one person. You just simply say, is Mr. Jones from the United States? And the answer would be, Mr. Jones is he. You, you say, what? Yes, he or no, he. Uh, and then is or maybe if it's no, you say he is not. And now, uh, since you uh, provide a full answer, you just simply say what he is from uh, this place okay now uh, English class at two so English class is it's 
if we remove English class, we can replace it with the pronoun it. So here you say is English class at two. So remember that uh, these are uh, things that you have to use it as a replacement like uh, for these like nouns. Now, uh, sorry, uh, no, it isn't or it's not. And here, since you provide the full answer, you say it is like this. It is at three. And you continue this way. Here, since we have plural, you and uh, Giovanna or Giovanna, whatever is the name, you have to use are here, okay? Are here. You just simply say are used. We have two people, remember that. It's plural. And yes, we are. Uh, we are from Milan. We are from Milan. Again, here was, uh, we have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Flores uh, Brazilian. Are these two people. So you have to use are here again. Are these people. No, they are. Uh, they aren't. You simply say that. Like you say this. And then you say what? Peruvian. They are proving, and this is how you use uh, verb B correctly. Answer these questions. If you answer no, give the correct information. Simple, we have a few questions. You will just only answer yes or no. For example, are you from the United States? No, I am not. Or I'm um, like this, I'm not. I am um, because it says if you answer no, please provide or give the correct information. I am from Kurdistan. Okay, so this is how you answer the other questions. Is your teacher from Canada? Yes or no? Yes, she is or he is. If not, no, he is not. He is from Kurdistan. And you continue this way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this class and uh, learned a lot from it. We will continue in the next uh, videos and we hopefully finish unit one very soon. Thank you so much for watching and remember for next week, like for next class, we will uh, start with a great uh, section which is word power and we will study a few expressions to say hello and goodbye. So here I'm saying goodbye to you and have a wonderful time.